I'm inside the Matadero Slaughterhouse. Now, this slaughterhouse was built in 1938 and it was built in the Art Deco style. It was designed by the architect Francisco Salamone who actually also designed Palacio Municipal which is the city hall in the middle of Caraway, the town nearby. Very, very beautiful building. Uh, perfect Art Deco style. This was one of the only large buildings to survive the floods in 1985 and in 2004 it was declared a building of artistic and historical interest by the government. So that means that this is a really special place. Let's go look around it a little bit. I'm sure you already know this but actually exploring these buildings is actually pretty dangerous. What I want to do in this video is just show you a few of the little moves, a few of the little tricks that I use to get around safely. Never take risks when you come into these places. They can be extremely dangerous. Let's go. To be honest, I'm actually a little bit afraid of heights. So I try to take great care when I'm going onto high places. Rather than walk along narrow walls, what I'm about to show you is a move that I call the butt shuffle because I shuffle my butt. <laughs> Something you're going to be doing a lot of when you're urbexing is walking across very narrow walls like this. This wall is about six inches wide, I guess, and falling off one of these walls can really fuck you up. So let's look at a couple of ways that we can make that a bit safer. You saw just now I was doing something which I call the butt shuffle, which is just where I lift myself up and I shuffle along the wall using my hands and just moving along like that. That's a real beginner move. It's, it's actually quite easy when you get used to it. Let's go back again. That's good if you're high up and you're a little bit afraid of heights, like me. If you really want to go across the wall, right, one of the important things to remember is never cross your feet. Never let one foot go over the other like that. If you do, you can twist and you're much more likely to fall, right? It's much better to take one step, another step, one step, another step like that. That's much more stable. When you do it, Actually, bring your bum down. Your centre of gravity needs to be much lower. So you can see, up and down a little bit, like that. I'll do it one more time. Like that. So, you can see there, we had the butt shuffle, we had toes to toes, and we had low centre of gravity with our bum. Now how am I going to get down from here? I'm not going to fucking jump, that's for sure. So if you're on a smaller wall like this and you're going to fall, try and bring your weight as far forward as you can so you're actually leaning off it. You need your toes pointing down a little bit. They're going to take the load when you hit the ground, right? And you want to lean forward a little bit. And you can see you kind of lean forward when you fall, like this. So that your hands come out and you bring your you bring your weight forward like that. Another really important point to remember is when you're hanging off something and you're gonna drop. I'm gonna go over this wall. So some people might be tempted to just jump from here. That's actually pretty bad for your ankles because this is quite a high jump. What I tend to do is I turn around, I take as much weight on my body as I can, and then I make a little jump. That's much safer. One of the other things that can be really tricky for people is getting through small spaces like this. From my point of view, there's two ways that we could get through this. One is hands first and one is feet first. Let's look at hands first first. You want to come through with your hands out. You bring your feet down 
Just walk yourself out like that. Let's look at another technique though, which is where we put our feet through first. You can see I'm bringing my foot through at the same time. And you just slide down like that. Much easier, right? However, I should point out that move would be particularly tricky for very tall people. Urbex is definitely for short people. The most important thing that I'd like you to take away from this video is about safety, right? I admit that I do take risks, but I try to calculate my risks as much as possible. If you're new to doing urban exploration or even just like little climbing things like this, please just take it slow, don't rush. And also, an important point to remember is listen to your body. I'm going to show you a clip yesterday where I sprained my ankle. And I know I sprained my ankle yesterday because I wasn't listening to my body. Take a look. When your body starts getting tired, your muscles will start jamming up and you lose flexibility a little bit. When that starts to happen, rest or stretch immediately. The reason I had this accident yesterday was because I wasn't listening to my body. When you're tired, sit down, rest, stretch, drink water, or maybe just go home. After this happened, I actually went home. <laughs> From a first aid point of view, if you sprain your ankle or if you sprain your wrist or sprain any of your fingers, an important thing to remember is don't put ice on it right away. Many people run to the freezer and they slap ice on the sprain or the twist right away. Do not do that. The best thing to do is put it under compression. You can buy a compression bandage from the pharmacy and you wrap it up as tightly as is comfortable. Keep that on for an hour, then unwrap it, wrap it up again, and do compression for maybe two or three hours. Ice should not be applied to a sprain until the bruising comes up, and that's going to take maybe 24, 48 hours. So put the ice on afterwards. I sprained my ankle yesterday. As soon as I got back, I had my compression bandage ready, and I'm up and around again today. That's a really useful tip. I'm going to get out of here now. What I would really like to see is you guys, you subscribers, my fans, you viewers, I want you to put some of your Urbex videos on YouTube and show me some of the techniques that you use. How do you get over walls? How do you drop? I want to know your tips, I want to know your tricks. Leave it in the comments make a video and then send me the link okay I'm gonna get out of here now because it's getting really windy let's go